the Mac Mini M4. The more I work with this computer, the more I absolutely love it. It's small, it's powerful, it's not that expensive, and it really runs quiet, which is great for creating content. I just really like the Mac Mini. It's a fantastic computer. The question though is can it be more fantastic? Well, that's the point of this video. In this video, I'll share with you five ways that I make the Mac Mini a little bit better, a little bit more useful. Some of them are hardware and there's one software item. So let's take a look at five ways that I make my Mac Mini M4 even better. The Mac Mini is great, it's small, it's compact, and it has a couple of ports at the front and it has a few ports at the back, but there are some challenges with this, is that I don't have some ports that I need. So the first item that I like to use is the Mini Sapporo Hub. So this is a flat hub. This one sits underneath the Mac Mini. It expands out the number of ports I have, both on the front and the back. And one of the things I really like is it also gives me the ability to have a second monitor. Plus, I can add a hard drive into the bottom and expand the amount of space that I have for my Mac Mini. My Mac Mini doesn't have a lot of space built into it, but by adding that external drive, that gives me a place where I can edit videos. That second monitor also comes in quite handy. I can plug in the hub here, and now I've got it all connected. So now you can see I've got the Mac Mini, I've got it connected to the hub, and I have the access to the button at the back as well. It's fantastic. Notice that my ex external hard drive is seen as well. And what's this Raspberry Pi doing here? We'll see that in a second. So you can see here that the second item I like to use is a little KVM switch. This little KVM switch allows me to switch between monitors. So you can see I can switch between the Mac Mini and the Raspberry Pi. And here's the cool part. If I have this hub here, I can actually, I'll just move this up. You can see behind here, I have a second monitor. It's just a little tight here, but I have a second monitor. So because I have this monitor on an arm, I can move it off to the side, but for now I'll just put it in front of me. So that's a really great feature of this hub. There's also a vertical hub. So if I want to put, I have another Mac Mini on another desk, and on that desk it's really handy to have the Mac Mini in a uh, vertical position. It also comes with the hub, so that's really handy and I use this quite a bit as well. I do like the flat one because it does have the second monitor port, but if you, if you have one that you want to hold vertical, that's good too. The other thing I like to add is a camera. So this is a very inexpensive camera, which I would not have been able to add if I didn't have this little port, if I didn't have the port, because the port's going to allow me, let me just grab it here, it's going to allow me to plug in this camera, and this camera's a little 1080p camera, it's, it's very inexpensive, but I can move this around. Of course, I could put it on the monitor, but I can use it as an overhead camera, as a document camera. So I like to add that to the Mac Mini as well. You can see that I'm getting, if I want to go fancy, I can get a cam link. And again, because I have this uh, port, because I have the um, hub here, I could uh, put it into the hub. I could also get an adapter USB to USB-C, which I could put into the Mac Mini itself, but I actually prefer to plug it into the, the hub. But anyway, so I can put it into the hub here if you want to go with a more pro camera. But the 1080p is absolutely fantastic. I also can add a little Bluetooth speaker. Now this is a Bluetooth speaker, but you can also wire it in if you have an auxiliary port. You can put it into the front audio, but that gets a little bit messy. But guess what? Once again, my little port here, I'll just take this out and move that to the side and we'll see, we'll take off the camera for a second here. So if I, if I come in here, you can see that I'm able to put the speaker and connect it to the audio port in the back of this hub. So you can see I've got a little audio jack in the back of the hub here, so I can take my audio jack and I can connect that in. You can get longer ones as well if you'd like, but I can connect that into the back of the hub and now I can have an external speaker and that external speaker can really improve the sound. So really, you know, the things that, the, the key here is to have the hub, of course, gives me the second monitor, gives me the additional ports, but then I can add the camera, I can add the speaker, and I can, I can really expand what I'm able to do with this Mac Mini. 
Another thing that I like to do from a software standpoint is I like to install Parallels virtualization software onto my Mac and now I can run Windows in a virtual machine on my Mac. I have videos here on the channel where I show you how to do that but again because I have that mini Sapporo hub and because I'm able to add additional hard drive space through that expansion port I now have the ability to take a virtual machine and have a pretty big virtual machine in terms of hard drive space on the Mac Mini. As you saw with the KVM switch, I can switch between the Mac Mini and my Raspberry Pi. Well, when I have virtualization, I now have with that Mac Mini and that little Raspberry Pi, I'm able to have the best of all worlds. I'm able to have a Raspberry Pi with the KVM switch. I'm able to have the additional ports with the additional storage, which allows me to run more Mac programs and I have the virtualization so I can have Windows and I can run a lot of Windows programs. I really get the best of all worlds. So those are the things that I like to do to enhance my Mac Mini. What do you do to enhance yours? Do you have some things that you add to the Mac Mini that really elevate it and make the experience even better? I'd really be interested in knowing. I'm always looking for ways to improve the way that I work with this powerful little computer. And this is something that I think is very useful in a school setting where you could have the Mac Mini, you could have the camera, you could have the hub. That would really be a combo that would be very powerful. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.